Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And as you can see here guys, I have a brand new toy in for you guys. And this is of the MacBook Air. And this is the M1 MacBook Air that was recently released. All right, so this one contains Apple's new M1 chip. And of course, this thing has been making its rounds on the internet. And basically, it's been identified as one of the best laptops. So seeing that the power of this device, guys, and for creating even better content for you guys, I've decided to pick up the MacBook Air. And of course, this is the 2021 review. So let's get straight into it, guys. So the first thing you'll notice, guys, is the very small um, box here, guys, which is quite nice. I'll compare it to my um, mouse. As you can see here, this would be my mouse in proportion to the box. And of course, you can move this out of the way. All right, so let's check it out, guys. So we have MacBook here to this side, the upper side, and of course, to this side we have the Apple logo. All right, so let's open this box up. So check it out, guys. Front and center, you have the um, MacBook Air. So let's remove this from the case. All right, so check it out, guys. So we have the um, MacBook Air removed from the case. We have the accessories right here, which is the char USB cable for charging. And we have the adapter unit. And of course, we're gonna remove uh, the documentation and so on on the inside. All right, guys, for scale or for size, I have the laptop here, which is here I have the uh, MacBook Air, guys. Over here, I have my Acer laptop, which is quite small. Check it out, guys. If I were to place these both in the same space, check out the difference in terms of footprint. All right, so check that out, guys. This thing is way smaller. It takes up a smaller footprint. There's no fans. And of course, as you can see, it's really thin. It um, basically puts all other laptops to um, shame in terms of the size. So basically all other laptops um, are much bulkier and chunky compared to the MacBook Air. And I'm very impressed. You might even think that this thing is a tablet, but it's not. All right guys, so this thing is in its um, sleeve. We're gonna remove this right now and let's check out the product. Okay guys, the product is out. Check out the finished look. There's the Apple logo, like the brush finish, very cool. Almost um, aluminum looking. You have the front tab to the sides here guys we have the ports and of course it's my first um, MacBook or Apple based laptop as you can see here we have two ports here I'm not sure what ports they are comment below if you know what ports these are and of course we have the ear and if you were to turn this around we have nothing to the back and of course I don't see any other ports right now except these two right here. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. Let's do the one hand test to see if we can actually lift this without assistance. Oh, that's the first startup sound, guys. I'm going to remove um, this material right here. Alright, so this is for a startup. Okay guys, check it out. So we're gonna do the initial setup. Let's check out the keys guys. This thing is so small. Um super small. Check out my hands guys. This feels so Use nice. English is the main language. Press the return key. Alright, so let's do the setup process. Alright guys, we're gonna choose um our um, region. After this, we're gonna choose accessibility which is going to adjust things to your individual needs or your abilities in terms of um, hearing, touch, and so on. So in the Wi-Fi section, we're going to choose a Wi-Fi network and then connect to the Wi-Fi network. Um, this is the next step. Once password is um, in, we're going to hit continue. Alright, so there's some data and privacy information. We're going to go through this as well. Um, so it's a migration assistant. This section is for those who are coming from another device, whether it's a Windows PC or a Mac. Uh, for now, I'm just going to say not now. It's asking for your Apple ID. In here, you'll input your Apple ID. That's going to use with Apple services, which is a must for Apple-based um, devices. Read the terms of service after signing to your Apple ID. Then we're going to hit agree to continue. I close the setting up once you create your username and um, password. You're going to set up um, find my iPhone. Then you're going to reach the screen. 
that says um, Express Setup. So simply hit Continue. Um, it says Analytics. You can share um, crash data, usage data with Apple developers if you would like. I'm going to skip that. Screen time. Very important as to how much time you're spending with your device. I'm going to continue again. There's iCloud analysis. You can share that to Apple. I'm going to skip that as well. And of course, it says enable Ask Siri. So what I'm going to do is just hit continue, which is a cool feature. I'm going to select the language, which is um, English, United States. Hit continue. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, open documents folder. Once you're finished, your series should be ready, so hit continue. And of course, it says to improve Siri and dictation. Um, share audio recordings. Uh, you can choose your option right here. All right, there's the encryption, um, this encryption portion uh, by default. I notice this is um, checked, so I'm just going to hit continue. It wouldn't hurt. And of course, there's the touch ID portion. So use your fingerprint to unlock your Mac when you're making purchases. So they say start by placing your thumb on the thumb pad up here. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, so once it's set up, I'm going to um, just go ahead and hit continue. Choose your look. You can choose your touchpad layout to your liking. So this is basically light mode or dark mode. So you have um, dark, you have light. Um, for me, I'm just gonna choose auto, seeing that that would be best. Just to the daytime or nighttime, when it continue. True tone display. So we're gonna see with and without true tone. You might not be able to see this. The process is setting up. So everything is um, finishing up. So far, so good. So I'm just gonna allow the process to finish and actually show you the desktop as soon as this is finished. Hey guys, so it's finished. So far, so good. So check it out guys. So this is the Mac. Uh, we'll be doing tutorials using this. I'm getting used to this now. I'm more used to uh, Windows PCs. But of course, um, I am not, well, uh, I've used Macs in the past for a little bit. But of course, as we go on, we'll do some tutorials. We'll do fixes and so on for this device. So of course, if you like the tutorial so far, um, just give us a thumbs up and of course your feedback and comments is always welcome as I said this is just the overall interface we'll be getting to know this better in the next few days um, there's a lot of stuff to go through but let me just give you a quick run through so you see the keys guys basic layout um, some of the labelings are a little bit different from Windows but of course it all feels intuitive display is super crisp you can see the layout right here of all the features and so on and we have uh, Big Sur which is the latest version of um, the Mac you can see the MacBook Air logo here we have the taskbar we have the mouse and so on so we'll be testing out this as we go along alright guys you guys I almost forgot so we have the adapter brick already assembled with the adapter unit we also have the cable which is this almost USB type C type looking cable so this is for charging both will be merged together all right also we have the version of mac which is mac big sur all right which is the 2020 edition the m1 version as you can see right there and of course if we go over to storage you can check it out and see 217.45 gigabytes available of 245 gigabytes um, ssd all right guys so i'm just gonna wrap up the tutorial here as always, guys, we've got the garden from Block Tech Tips. Same bye until next time. Bye.